What's up guys? Welcome back to Gentry and Sons. So I hope you guys are having a great night. We are about to put out another video. This is gonna be the a really cool one. I think this is gonna be a cool one. Pretty sure it is. I'm about 122% positive that it's gonna be cool. Hooked up. We're getting ready to head out. Guys, listen to this rig. She's really hitting a lick now. I mean, it sounded good before, but it really, really sounds good now. Oh my goodness. And it actually burns clean. I'm getting ready to see what kind of fuel miles we get. I doubt that's probably not gonna be the best, but who cares when it sounds like that. Got our new sign on. Heck yeah, baby. So yeah, we're getting ready to head out. We gotta go to London, Kentucky and load some cows. And then we gotta head up to Michigan and then we gotta reload and go, I don't know where from there, but. All right, guys, we made it down to the interstate. It is time to roll out. So far, so good, no leaks, running good. Good old 
pressure, we got a good water temp. It has no reason to be throwing engine warning lines. Excited. So, uh, the somebody that we're picking up for tomorrow morning is uh, she's actually a big TikToker, Bull Holler's daughter, I think. On TikTok is who uh, we're picking up for. All right, we made it. Holy crap, they are in like literally downtown London. I would have never imagined picking up cattle in the middle of downtown London. Laurel Bakery, I have picked up here before, but I didn't know there was cattle back here. Thank you, brother. I had the trailer parked in the way. I had to wait for him to get out of the way. No big deal. Oh, what's this? The guy rocking down the railroad track. That don't seem like a good idea. It ain't worth it, brother. Life is good, don't do it, don't do it. Yeah, oh crap, there's already some trailers here. Let's find us a parking spot and go to sleep, I guess. Big Peter Bills. Peterbilt's everywhere. Man, they got some nice trailers. I'm getting embarrassed. Man, that black trailer right there is super nice. Is a stockyard. This is a stockyard, huh? Well, we made it. Now it's time for bed. It is time for bed. I reckon we should be ready to roll out of here around one o'clock, two o'clock, so we'll get a good night's sleep. And I can work on my truck in the morning and get it ready to go and adjust the brakes and just check everything. Before we head out of here. Well, guys, good morning. I'm trying to get this rig warmed up. Hard thing. There we go. Bump the idle up a little bit. Man, that windshield's getting worse and worse and worse. Gotta get that other one in. I don't know if I mentioned it or not, guys, but I had to get a windshield cut for this thing. They don't just make windshields for them anymore. You just can't get them like you can a regular windshield. So we're having a piece cut. I'm gonna go ahead and replace both sides and get a spare too. It's just scary not knowing, you know, I might not ever be able to get a 9670 windshield for a cab over. I know some people say they've been able to get them still, but I ain't been able to. All right, here we go. You put four big ones in the front and hey. Hey. all right boys here we go at the load the top
Come on, baby. Uh, uh, up, up. Hey! Hey! They don't like that electroshock there. They don't do that. Come on, babies. Come on. Bull Holler's daughter. I appreciate you setting us up with a load. Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm glad y'all could. Are you just on TikTok? Are you on YouTube? Yeah. yeah. On it, just, it was like on accident, really. Like. That's the way it works. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. That's the way mine happened. Y'all yeah. redo trucks, right? Yeah. That's pretty cool. You don't see a lot of internationals no. anymore. I like it because the leg room and all that, you know, you really don't get leg room in a. In a cab over and they're not really comfortable but that one there is just so comfortable you got plenty of room in it you can get around it's... yeah well she's a famous truck in these parts everybody loves this truck they're like oh my god the cab over's here that's awesome all right i gotta go back here and tie my door off i'm gonna go ahead and let it build some air oh guys i tell you what i was about a nervous truck i ain't loaded a load of cows in a while now We had one in there try to turn on us and she wasn't happy. stop when I used to haul potatoes we'd all stop here on our way out fill our cups up and stuff and grab lunch or dinner and then we'd have to be up there to load potatoes the next morning in Michigan and then but we're gonna stop here and use the old the old potty I hate pulling out here too I've almost lost a boat here one time we were coming across the park for the night because it was getting dark and we had a truck come flying across the other side and uh, we are already almost across the bridge and uh, he just kept coming, kept coming, kept coming and uh, God, I hate this super tent. This is not meant for cattle. Well, it ain't meant for nothing. I hate it. Because you got to shift it so slow. You got cows on, you shift it too hard or take off too hard. You'll rock on cows, and so I just take off real easy. At 18 speed, you can shift through the half gears, it's a lot easier. Guys, come. 
calm down a little. I should have split this bottom. The top split, so they can't move around a whole lot. Oh, my tag thing come loose. I gotta fix that real quick. Besides that, she looks good. All right, let's go in here and get a weight ticket and see how much we weigh. I'm about afraid to know. Oh, Lordy. We got something going on on the hill. Traffic stopped everywhere. So guys, I weighed the truck and uh, we're like right at 80,000 pounds. So right on the money. Um, if I was in the Peterbilt, I'd probably be like 84, 85,000. So this thing is a lot lighter than the Peterbilt or the W900 was. A lot, lot lighter. Travis couldn't believe it. Because his truck weighs quite a bit too. Lordy, they might have done you out to an accident.
assuming this is these out entrance. I'm guessing. I don't know. film here or not but we'll find out So super cool people to deal with. He was super, really nice actually. Um, so uh, he asked me what time I loaded them. Told him I said, "Hell, yeah, they've been on there, you know, all all night." Um, we loaded them at like three o'clock. So two o'clock, two thirty-three. See, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight. So they've been on there almost twelve hours already. And if I wait till my appointment time, they'll be on there another. 12 hours so that means them cattle will be on this trailer for 24 hours and uh, yeah that just can't they can't be on there that long I mean they can but it ain't good for them especially there's no telling how much they're giving for those cows so I doubt they're going to want their cows on there that long anyway so he's going to try to, as soon as the barn supervisor comes in in the morning, um, he said he comes in about 5, 530. They're going to try to uh, get me on in here and get them unloaded. But he said the barn's full right now. So it would be in the morning anyway before they could get them off. But he is going to try to get me unloaded. I was the first or second truck to load this morning. So, um, I should be should be the first one in line but I don't mess around I get if, when I got a load to do I get there I don't slow down I don't stop I don't have to um, especially pulling cows that's what you really need to do now weigh me back out <laughs> right here you go up, stop sign make a right there's a bp and then there's a loves too he said so anyways we're gonna go up here and chillax get these guys man i wish i had brought them some hay or something i need to keep a couple bales of hay in the trailer i know it probably ain't good for them to eat going down the road i don't know maybe i shouldn't do that hard to be a cattle hauler taking them to the slaughter when you're a cattle lover but it's the way we can't eat without them that's what they're bred for has got a cattle trailer is just so excited that we're out here pulling with them and hauling cattle and making videos and I mean I can't tell you every cattle truck I passed last night coming back from Michigan up here or PA uh, this jittery oh my god it's, it's so cool to get to see you and all this I mean I've had a blast and I was on a phone call last night and it ended up on a conference. It was just so cool, so. But anyways, they just called me and told me to come in and get these things off. So I'm headed to get these daggone things off my wagon. And then we're gonna load some feeder cows and we're gonna head back to Tennessee. All right, well, we gotta 
go over here and sit and wait some more. That guy just told me to come over here and uh, they go ahead and get them unloaded. And now they're wanting me to go over here and sit until he, he said the barn's full. I was like, what? Hurry up and wait. At least it's not hot out. I do have a nice facility here, it's clean. Those pack houses, I guess, ain't as clean like this. They stink. It makes mowing. They ain't no mowing in my house right now. Wow, green grass. They must be getting some rain up here. We sure as heck ain't. Get out of here guys so i didn't really want a video back there he said no video in back there i said yes sir he said i do love your videos though so that's cool Thirty-one thousand, but we weigh empty all right let's go get our paperwork and get out of here all right, let's get this old girl washed out. It wasn't real, real bad, but it could use a washout. I don't know why, I just want to see it clean <laughs> for the first time. I'm not going to wash it out since I've owned it. Oh, heck yeah. That's cool. Looks like they bring it over here and pump it out. Oh, back here's the pit. Holy crap, I bet you they get all the fertilizer in the world they want. Ooh. Dang guys, look at this pit. That's a lot of poopy. Oh, There's a lot of poopy. Well, I guess I'm gonna get some uh, some of these bags of sawdust. I think it's sawdust. Yeah. So I think it'd be a smoother ride on the cows if we get some uh, put that in there. It'd probably help you keep from slipping too. I would think. So he said they sell a lot of it to a lot of the cow haulers. So I'm gonna give it a shot. Eight dollars a bag. I think eight or nine bags would probably build a trailer up but um, I don't know you bull haulers out there let me know do y'all run sawdust in your trailers or is it a waste of money and they've got pallets of it here so surely to God it's pretty common I have learned so much on this trip um, hauling like kill cows because I'm used to hauling you know more farm stuff I've always went to farms and loaded and unloaded and uh, hauling out of the stockyard when it comes to doing this, it's a whole different world out here, guys. It is crazy, and I've met a lot of really cool people, too. Just uh, just left the truck wash. I'm waiting on my buddy to get here. We're gonna head back towards Tennessee. I just got a phone call, a very scary phone call. Um, 
So I've got to get back home and deal with the situation, um, business related. Um, it's, I'll let you guys know what happened as soon as I know for sure. As soon as I figure out what's going on, I'll let you guys know. But uh, one of our customers had some issues that we got to. Hopefully, it ain't an issue. Hopefully, they overcome it. Either way, I've got to make sure our guys are took care of. So I got to get home and deal with that, and then uh, I'll probably switch to the FLD. There's a few things that I want to get done to this truck before I take it out west, um, like an air dryer, go through the airlines, got a couple of air leaks and stuff. So uh, I definitely want to get that addressed. So I'm gonna head back towards the house, get the FLD legal and ready to go, and then. Uh, we're gonna go haul some more cows. We might be buying a much more cow crackers. <laughs> Got this thing on flat out. Just get with it. Look at this thing go, guys. Michigan, 65 mile an hour for all truck. God, I remember when it used to be 55 mile an hour. It really, really sucked. Come back on that. Whoa, Bessie. Whoa, girl. Easy now. Come on, girl. Be easy. Don't you, don't you get an attitude of me. Oh, girl. Back on, back on. All right, guys. So we made it back to... Fort Wayne, Kentucky, or Fort Wayne, Indiana. What am I thinking, Kentucky? Um, guys, I'm still on the same fuel that I left the house on. Uh, I'm just, I'm thinking that we're getting some pretty decent fuel mileage. I have been running the living snot out of her for the last little bit. and go. We got an X-15 behind us. That old JW. Uh, it's a JW Peterbilt. That is who we've been hauling with this week. Cook up for crack. Oh my god. I'm full of crack. But anyways, uh, yeah, so I'm running with my buddy. He's uh, running that JW Peterbilt. And uh, great company. I mean, they are super simple to deal with. When it comes to hauling cattle, I will say they are super simple, super easy, easy to get along with. Uh, as long as you got your, you know, cattle certificate showing that you're a good cattle hauler. And uh, besides that, they don't ask for nothing. Insurance and your certificate. So if you get into cattle, I will say this, there is a test online, I'll put the link down in the description, that you have to take, and you know, and once you take the test, you gotta watch a bunch of videos, you take the test, and once you pass it, and then uh, you get a certificate saying that you're a bad A cattle hauler, pretty much. And it just kinda tells you how to handle the cattle, how not to stress them out, um, you know, what it does to the meat, if you do stress them out, diseases, you know, if somebody approaches your trailer, your load, stuff like that. Um, you know, the heat, the whole nine yards. So I will say, cow hauling is not easy. It is something that you've got to work for. It pays good money. You make real good money doing it. But uh, it's definitely not an easy thing to do. You know, you got to work for that money. And, you know, cattle is, uh, they're animals. You know, they got hearts and souls and all that good stuff and you know so you want to be as humane as possible especially if you're pulling uh, you know uh, butcher cows um, from feedlots and stuff like that you definitely want to make sure that they their last day on earth is the best it can possibly be be humane about it
check my fuel mileage. We're getting five and a half miles to the gallon. All right, so we ran 900 miles. And I got 160 gallons of fuel, like 162. So that's like 5.6 miles per gallon, 5.5. Let's just say 5.5, give or take a mile or two. Um, but so with first trip out with it, idling, because I idled overnight, I probably idled for 10 hours. So idling, the crazy wind and weather that we're having right now, running in the rain, and the whole nine yards, 5.6 miles per gallon. Pulling a cattle pod, I'll take that all day long. And if I re-gear this thing, if I get the RPMs down, which I do plan on doing, I'm going to be putting the three, probably 342s. 342s or 336s. You ready to rock? Uh, so 342s or 336s, I think I could get it. I mean, be consistent six, six and a half, seven miles a gallon. So, I mean, I'm pretty happy with that. I can't complain. That X15 behind me is getting. Uh, hey, what is your fuel mileage? So that thing's 600 and something horsepower, and this thing just walks off and leaves it. Man, that's crazy. You would never think a little old Detroit would walk off and leave an X-15. I'm telling you, you like, you see, you boy, it's so much funny that, like, if you pulled out here, when you ate into and I see smoke come out, uh, like I say, I anticipated it last time, kind of got in the fuel, and it just kind of walked off. Sweetwater made our first cattle haul, made our first money. Like we made good money on this trip, and we'll talk about that more on another video. We'll talk about you know what it costs us to get into this, what it costs the insurance, the trailer, the whole nine yards, and uh, you know we've already made a new customer. So you know we did a good job for them. I'm sure we'll get to pull many more loads for them. I'm already scheduled for another load Wednesday morning. I don't know if I'll be taking it or if I'll be putting a driver on it, but um, the trailer is already scheduled for plenty of work. And uh, we bought this trailer on a budget. This ain't no big, nice $100,000 trailer. This is a cheap trailer and it's something to get started with. And it just shows you that trucking's still alive. You can watch other YouTubers out there. It says, 
you know, rates are in the bag, can't make it in trucking, don't get in the trucking business, you know, blah, 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 blah. Uh, can't find loads. I mean, I've seen it. There's so many trucking YouTube channels out there today and 90% of them is negative. Like it's just negative, negative, negative about the trucking industry. You know what, trucking will make this world go round. It might not be the best, but you can still dag on make a good living at it. And it kills me to see these other YouTubers telling people all the time, you know, don't get into trucking, it's the worst time ever, and blah, blah, blah. It is tough, but if you work your butt off, you can make it, you can make it doing anything. I don't care if you work at McDonald's. As long as you go in there with a good positive attitude, and you work your freaking tail end off and you don't listen to other people that bring you down and it's negative about everything, then uh, you know what? You'll be successful. So, you know, it is what it is, I guess, but this is my way of proving that it's still out there and I don't just talk about it, I go out and show you. And uh, I think that's why our YouTube channel is what it is today. So, but anyways, I'm pulling into the house there's America hooked up to the wagon, ready to go to work. And uh, we're going to hook up the FLD to the cattle wagon probably tomorrow, make sure it's good to go. And then we're going uh, to go make some more money. So, guys, I appreciate you watching. I'll see you on the next video, of course. Thanks for being here. Thanks for watching. Thanks for being a part of Gentry and Suds. We love y'all, and we'll see you on the next one.